Good day, everyone. So today we will be looking at the pericardium meridian. So the full name of this meridian is the pericardium meridian of the hand Julian. So because it's a yin meridian of the hand, it runs from the chest to the hand and then to the fingers. There's nine points in total on this meridian. And the common indications between points is it's used for diseases related to the heart, pericardium, chest, stomach, and the mind and spirit. And remember, these diseases are referring to the TCM organs. The course that this meridian flows is that it originates in the chest. It emerges and enters its organ, the pericardium. It then descends through the diaphragm to the abdomen, connecting with the upper, middle, and lower jowls. And then there's a branch which arises from the chest and runs laterally. This branch emerges again at the costal region at a point superior to the anterior axillary fold. It then ascends to the axilla and then descends the medial aspect of the upper arm. This is between the lung and heart meridians. It continues its descent to the cubital fossa, this fossa over here, and then goes along the forearm. It continues its descent down the forearm to the palm of the hand. And from here, it continues along to the middle finger and ends at its tip. So the major branches of this meridian. So the first branch is the main branch. This is the branch that we already discussed that originates in the chest and then goes laterally and continues along the arm. The second branch is known as the pulmonary branch. And this branch diverges at pericardium eight over here on the image on the right and then runs along the ring finger to its tip and connects with the San Jal meridian. So the frequently used points on this meridian are pericardium 3, Kutsa, pericardium 6, Neguan, and pericardium 7, Daling. So the first point we're going to look at is Tian Chi, pericardium 1. This point is located one tsun lateral to the nipple in the fourth intercostal space and the nipple is 4 tsun lateral to the midline. So this point is 5 tsun lateral to the midline. The indications for this point it can be used for bronchitis, obstruction of the chest, chest pain, and other diseases of the lung and heart. It can also be used for mammary diseases because of its location, and scrofula and acute mastitis. Needling, we're doing oblique or horizontal insertion posteriorly, so that means in this direction, towards the back of the body and remember it is not advised to do deep insertion as this could still puncture the lungs. Next is Tian Kuan, pericardium 2. So this point is located 2 tsun below the level of the anterior axillary fold. So if we look at the image, here's the anterior axillary fold over here and we've got to go 2 tsun below it and it's between the two heads of the biceps brachii. So if you see here, this is the biceps brachii here, and you can see they've clearly highlighted the two heads. The indications for these points, they can be used for cardiac pain, distension of the hypochondriac region, and cough. And then they can also be used for pain of the chest, back, and medial aspect of the arm. So this aspect of the arm here. The needling is perpendicular insertion, 0 0,5 to 0 0,7 tsun. The next point is Kutzer, pericardium 3. This is the Hersey and water point of the meridian, and it is located on the transverse cubital crease. So remember from previous lectures, we've discussed where this is. This is over here, the transverse cubital crease, and then it's at the ulnar side of the tendon of the biceps brachii muscle. So here's the biceps brachii muscle. So this part here is just zoomed in over here. And then we're going to feel for the, we're going to palpate for this tendon, and then we're going to go to the ulnar side, which means the medial side. The indications we can use it for cardiac pain, palpitations, febrile diseases, and irritability. It can also be used for stomach ache and vomiting, and then it can be used for local conditions such as pain in the elbow and arm and spasms of the hand and arm. And remember that this is a frequently used point. Our insertions, it's perpendicular. 0 0,5 to 0 0,7 tsun.
So next we'll be looking at Xi Men, pericardium 4. So this is a Xi cleft point of the meridian and it is located 5 turn superior to the transverse crease of the wrist. So what this means is it's this crease over here and we're going 5 turn superior to this crease. We're on the line connecting Cuta pericardium 3 over here at the top by the elbow and Dialing pericardium 7 by the wrist down here and we're on that line connecting these two points. So like this. And then it's between the tendons of the palmaris longus and the flexor carpi ra radialis. So what we've got to do is we've got to locate these two tendons. So you can see the palmaris longus is this one here highlighted on the image. And the flexor carpi radialis is this one over here. So we're between these two muscles. The indications for this point, it can be used for acute cardiac pain and palpitations and chest pain. So does anyone know the difference between cardiac pain and chest pain? So the main difference is that cardiac pain is specific to the heart, whereas chest pain is less specific and can be a number of different causes of the pain, whether it be the chest, the lungs, or even the stomach. So then the other indications for this point, it can also be used for epistaxis, hematemesis, and hemoptysis, or any other blood syndrome due to heat. It can also be used for furuncles and epilepsy. Our insertion is perpendicular 0.5 to 1 sin. The next point is Jian Shi, pericardium 5. So this is a Jing river and metal point of the meridian, and it is located 3 sin superior to the transverse crease of the wrist. So the previous point, pericardium 4, was 5 sin around about here, and this one is now 3 turn superior to the transverse crease of the wrist. Remember, that is this wrist crease over here. This point is also between the tendons of the palmaris longus muscle and the flexor carpi radialis, those same two muscles, these two, that we talked about in the previous point. The indications for this point can be used for cardiac pain, palpitations, and secondly, for stomach ache and vomiting due to heat, and then thirdly, for febrile diseases, irritability, malaria, mental disorders, and epilepsy. The insertion is 0.5 to 1 turn, and it's perpendicular. The next point is Neiguan, pericardium 6. So this is a Luau connecting point of the pericardium meridian, but it is also the confluent point of the yin linking vessel. And what does this mean? Well, the yin linking vessel is one of those extraordinary meridians, and that means that this point can treat conditions of the pericardium meridian, but also along the yin linking vessel. So if we look at this image on the right, this shows you the pathway of the yin linking vessel. So this means that this meridian can be used for conditions of the chest, lungs, and throat region as well. So the location of this point, it's too soon superior to the transverse crease of the wrist. So if we take a look at this image in the middle, over here, again we're at the transverse crease of the wrist, like the previous two points, and now it's two turn superior. So if you remember, pericardium 4 is 5 turn, pericardium 5 is 3 turn, and pericardium 6 is now 2 turn superior. And it's between the same two muscles, the palmaris longus and the flexor carpi radialis. The indications for this point, so it can be used for cardiac pain, palpitations, a stuffy chest, and pain in the hypochondriac region. And remember, that's related to being a part of the yin linking vessel. It can also be used for stroke, stomach ache, nausea, vomiting, and hiccups. It can be used for mental disorders, epilepsy, insomnia, febrile diseases, irritability, and malaria. And then it can be used for contraction and pain of the elbow and arm. Needling, it's perpendicular insertion, 0.5 to 0.8 sin. So as you can see, it's a bit shallower than the previous two points, and this is because it's getting closer to the wrist, so there's less muscle for us to insert with, so we have to go much shallower. And then the insertion is generally angled superiorly towards the elbow. The next point is Darling, pericardium 7. So this is a shoe stream, yuan source, and earth point of the meridian and it is located in the middle of the transverse crease of the wrist, over here.
and then it's between the tendons of the palmaris longus muscle and the flexor carpi radialis. So these are the same two muscles as the, the previous points. The only difference here is the location and this point is at the crease of the wrist. Okay, so now let's look at the indications. Because this point is a Yuan source point, it has a greater action towards its corresponding organ, the pericardium. And therefore, in the primary indications, we can see this function, as it can treat cardiac pain, palpitations, stuffy chest, and pain in the hypochondriac region. It can also be used for stomach ache or vomiting, and then for mental disorders, epilepsy, convulsions, insomnia, irritability, and foul breath. And then finally, it can be used for pain in the arms and hands. Our insertion is perpendicular, 0.3 to 0.5 cm. The next point is Lao Gong Pericardium 8. So this is a Xing spring and fire point of the meridian, and it is located on the transverse crease of the wrist. That is this crease here. And it's between the second and third metacarpal bones. So this bone and this bone. And it's in the depression on the radial side of the third metacarpal. So we count one, two, three, and we go to the radial side, which means the side where the radius is. The radius is up here, so it's this side. And then it's where the tip of the middle finger touches when making a fist. So what you'd have to do is you have to ask the patient to make a fist to make sure you are in the right location. The indications for this point, it can be used for cardiac pain and pain in the hypochondriac region can also be used for gastritis, foul breath, vomiting and nausea. And then thirdly, it can be used for mental disorders and epilepsy. And then also loss of consciousness or coma due to stroke or sunstroke. And finally, it can be used for fungus infections of the hand and foot. Our needling is perpendicular insertion, 0.3 to 0.5 cm. The final point of the meridian is Zhong Chong, pericardium 9. This is the Jing well and wood point of the meridian, and it is located on the center of the tip of the middle finger. And you can see it right on the image there. The indications for this point can be used for cardiac pain, palpitations, and loss of consciousness. It can also be used for aphasia with stiffness of the tongue. And then thirdly, it can be used for febrile diseases, heat stroke, and convulsions. Insertion is a shallow insertion 0.1 sun or prick to bleed. So that is the end of the pericardium meridian. It is one of the shorter meridians with only nine points. And then next we'll look at the San Zhao meridian of the hand Xiaoyang.